This morning on our series, Early's Fall Fashion Extravaganza, a look at the hot new boots and handbags of the season. Joining us is Elise Lonen. She is editor-at-large of Lucky Magazine. Good morning, Elise. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming in. You brought a lot of stuff, but yes. if you had to give us just one must-have boot and one must-have bag for fall, what well, would it be? This fall, I think I'm going to be investing in a ladylike purse and some ankle boots. But at Lucky, we're really known for our shoe and bag guides, where we literally look at every single option and boil it down to the very best. There's okay. something for everyone. Beautiful. Let's, we have three trends. Let's right. start with the first. This one is sort of retro, Elise. Yes. This is a takes a big bow to the 40s. It's very feminine, very glamorous. And again, you see these sort of short-handled purses, which I think is a great bag. It's cute. But, but if you're shopping strategically, as most of the women we found are, you need to figure out whether you can sort of handle that or whether you need something that's going to fit over your jacket. Mm -hmm. um, and then the shoes. We have these T-strap sandals, which are really elegant. And they're sandals, but you can wear them with tights. So they take you well into fall. And then sort of a classic platform pump. Really beautiful, really elegant, very tailored and classic. I see these straps everywhere. Yes. Huge for fall. And again, it's a, a really flattering way. It sort of lengthens out your leg. Yeah. You wouldn't think a shoe could do it, but it can. As we see with our model, that look really came together. She's yes. got the short strap and the sandals with tights. Right. Mackenzie is sort of, and I love how it's sort of figure revealing, but it's also very demure, sort of a Mad Men-esque look. Very Mad Men. You look great, Mackenzie. Thank you. Trend number two, Julie and I are cheering because we still have these from the 80s. Well, I hope and they're you back. Do. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to hold on to things. You never know when you're going to see them again. This is sort of a soft 80s look. And again, it's, we're not talking about shoulder pads here or crazy neon just like an oversized envelope clutch. And again, in this economy, a lot of designers are really trying to be versatile and to be innovative. So you're seeing a lot of bags that can work in multiple ways. This is big enough to work for the day. It's also great for night. And these satchels, which she's also holding and Deer's holding, it folds over and can sort of, so it's sort of a two-in-one bag. Oh, that's which nice. Which is a great investment piece. And then the over-the-knee boot. I know it's a terrifying idea. Do you have to be tall? No. You absolutely sure? Absolutely not. Okay. Look at the heel on that. It lengthens out anyone's leg. Okay. But what you do need to do is to wear something sort of fitted oh. in the leg. Because you don't want to add too much extra volume. But that particular pair, it's from Guess. It's under $200, which is a great price mm -hmm. for a pair of boots. Um, again, it's definitely something worth playing around with, trying them on. And if that's too much, the wedge booty Really useful, versatile, can wear it with tights, can wear it with pants. Again, if you wear it with jeans, you should recommend really tight-fitting jeans. Yeah, or like it's something that you can at least tuck in. Tuck in. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Dira. And the last look is kind of rugged and tough. Rugged and tough and sort of a little edge of woodsy, a little edge of motorcycle. And what we're seeing is sort of these bucket bags and then also a backpack. Oh, which, these are back. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the backpack because your hands are free. If you're shopping on a Saturday, you're free to go through the racks. And then we see these sort of lace-up, ladylike booty. They're almost Victorian. Mm -hmm. Really, really sweet. And Michelle's wearing the look from head to toe. We sort of went all out. But you really don't have to. You can pair the leather vest with sort of a long floral vintage dress or the boots with something that's a little bit more sweet and fem feminine. It sort of counters it nicely. Would you combine these trends? Oh, sure. I mean, I really think that you can sort of, as long as you keep some styling tricks in mind, you can you can wear something that's more 40s and more feminine with something that's a little tough. Sometimes nice not to go, yeah. you don't want to be too costumey. So it's that's good to, true. to mix it up a little bit. Is there anything that you just, you say, don't, just don't do it? I think you can make almost anything work for you. Anything in moderation. Don't they say that about everything <laughs> yeah, in life? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and there's tons of styling tricks for all of this on luckymag.com, plus tons more shoes and bags. Really, I mean, we love shoes and bags. We could talk about them endlessly, and we, we do. Oh, yes, we could. All right, Elise Lund, and thank you. We're going to put up all those uh, tips on our website as well, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.